I'm Ty Moser and this is the Mono Local Workshop. Have you ever thought about incorporating metal into one of your woodworking projects? Whether it was to add a nice design feature or to cover up a nasty seam? Well, if you want to see how I do it, stick around. I started off by marking where the brackets were going to go and then using a jigsaw and some plywood, I created some templates of the brackets that I needed. Then using double-sided sticky tape, I stuck them down right where they needed to go. I hogged out most of the material using a spiral upcut bit and some brass bushings in my router. I marked the first couple brackets with a marking knife, but the metal wasn't always perfectly smooth and I really didn't want to mess up my marking knife that much. I found that a little poking tool actually worked quite well to mark it and sever the grain where I needed. Before I started each inlay, I would make sure that my chisels were sharp using my diamond stone and my leather strop. And really, if you keep them sharp, then it's only gonna take a second and a couple swipes at each. Then it's just going around the entire inlay, bringing it out to your line that you marked using the pointer tool or a marking knife. You want to make sure that you're going with the grain or the grain is kind of going into the inlay. Otherwise you might crack it outside of your inlay and well that just won't be good. And using my router plane, I ensured that all of the bottoms were the perfect depth. The first test fit was almost perfect, but I knew that after applying some finish, it was going to get a little bit tighter and I didn't want to risk it. So I took it back out and I fine tuned it a little bit more. And there you go. The metal is inlaid into the wood. These brackets got drilled, countersunk, and painted. They were also paired up with another bracket on the back side of the door, and the countersunk flathead bolts actually hooked together to clamp the wood in between. Another project that I recently incorporated metal inlays into was a countertop seam. There was just a huge gap in the countertop, so I had to come up with a way to cover it up, and honestly, I wish that I would have incorporated the metal band into it in the beginning because it was absolutely awesome. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, go ahead and share it out to your friends. Also, comment down below, let me know what you liked. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe, that way you won't miss out on any future content. If you want any additional information about my process, or if you want additional information about my barn door project that I recently finished, I have articles on my website and I will have links down in the description. Once again, thanks for watching.